Hello, my besties. How are you? I'm so happy for you to stop by. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday and you're ready to do some DIYs. I just went to a Dollar Tree and look what I found. Work reform. Can you believe it? The little ties are already attached for you, so it makes a reef making even easier. And I found first of the Valentine's hearts. Blue. How cute is that? Let's see what we could come up with. And if you are interested in the beautiful snowflake reef that was hanging right there behind me, I had made it with the Dollar Tree Deco Mesh and you can see step-by-step -step instructions in this video. It's such a pretty reef. Many of you commented that it reminds you of the Frozen and Elsa's dress. It really does. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can make for Valentine's Day. You're gonna pick your favorite sign at a Dollar Tree as well as a reef form. It's first time that I see this wire work reef form at a Dollar Tree. If you cannot find it, just use the regular wire form and attach the pipe cleaners to it. We're gonna be using 21 inch wide deco mesh. I got it on sale at Hobby Lobby for $2.49, but I know many of you found it for $1 at a Dollar Tree not my Dollar Tree. I haven't been so lucky so far. In addition, we're gonna need some ribbon. I'll be using some Valentine ribbon, red Christmas ribbon, baby blue ribbon you can find in a baby section at a Dollar Tree, maybe some silver, whatever you know, matches your sign. In addition, we're gonna need florals and roses are perfect for Valentine's. I especially like the velvet roses. They're a little better quality, but the miniature roses are pretty too. You just gotta check them out and any other color coordinating picks. Dollar Tree is selling those adorable Valentine heart picks as well. Also, you're gonna need two zip ties. Let's take a look at this form. You're gonna notice the inner circle is raised up and there's five ties on it. And then on the outer circle, there's six ties. First, you're gonna gather up your mesh and attach it with the zip tie to the inner rail. Now you can find a spot over there where the two wires cross, like this little sidebar and the inner circle. And zip tie right there. We're going to cut off the remainder, drop the mesh on the floor so it's easier to handle. And then we're going to tie that mesh to the nearest tie. Just twist that a couple times. I was going to make 10 inch poofs, so I cut a piece of cardboard 10 inches long. But as I measure my first 10 inch poof, I realized it's not that much mesh uh, to reach the next tie over there. It seemed too short and I couldn't make a nice poof. So I decided to reach for my ruler, which is 12 inches long. So I measure 12 inches of mesh, pinch it, straighten it up a little bit over there, and then make a little poof by tying over there at the next tie. And we're gonna repeat these steps. Measure 12 inches, pinch, fix it up and tie it down. All right. Measure 12 inches, poof it up, and tie it down. And now as I made a few, I realized how big these poofs are, especially that that inner circle is raised up, so makes it seem even bigger. Uh, but uh, I'm just gonna go for it. And you feel free to make your poofs 10 inches, okay? <laughs> uh, the bottom line is that the poof method is so easy. You know, you just continue the same steps all around. When you finish the inner circle, you're gonna measure 12 inches Poof it up and tie it down to the bottom, to the outer circle, just like so. And you're going to continue the same steps. Measure 12 inches, poof it up, tie it down to the next tie.
All right, so we completed two circles and look how full that is. It's beautiful. This is where we ended. And now we have all this deco mesh left. So I'm just gonna drop it on the floor and measure another 12 inches and continue going around in a zigzag pattern now. So you puff it up and now you tie it from the outer to the inner circle, like that. And measure another 12 inches. And now we're gonna go from the top to the bottom tie. And you continue in a zigzag pattern all around. All right, and now that I finished going all around in a zigzag pattern, I still have a little bit of mesh left, but I'm just gonna cut it off because I don't wanna make it uneven. And I'm going to zip tie that ending over there to that wire form. And take a look at this baby. Can you believe how big and full that is? I'm so amazed. <laughs> and now we're gonna attach our sign to the middle and I'm gonna use some popsicle sticks because as you know, this sign is made out of little planks and it's wobbly, so that's gonna reinforce it. And then I'm gonna make wire ties in the back with um, some floral wire, a lot of hot glue, and little band-aids out of ribbon. <laughs> so we're gonna pull those wire ties all the way down to the frame and tie the sign down. And here it is on my stand. <laughs> and now we're gonna make a bow, a pretty simple bow. I'm thinking 12 inch tails. Yes, that's about right. We're gonna measure 12 inches, pinch it, measure 12 inches, fold in half. That's gonna give you six inch loop. 12 inch, fold in half, another six inch loop, and um, cut off the 12 inch tail. So very simple bow, two tails, two loops. We're gonna tie it together with a pipe cleaner or floral wire, whatever you have on hand. Fold your ribbon ends in half and cut a fish tail. And now we're gonna make a second layer. Let's make a bow a little bit smaller. Let's say 10 inch tail, pinch it. 10 inches folded in half, that gives you a five inch loop. Another 10 inches. Fold it in half, pinch. Make sure same size loops. And cut off the same size tail. And we are going to tie this bow on top of the first one. And you don't have to tie it exactly straight one on top of the other. You can tie it diagonally, just like I did here. Fold the ends and cut fishtails. And if you like, you can make another layer. And the third bow, we're gonna measure 10 inch tail, pinch it, 10 inches folded in half, five inch loop, pinch it, measure another 10 inches and uh, make a five inch loop at the bottom and then cut off same size of tail, about 10 inches. And again, we're gonna tie that bow on top. Fold the ends and cut the fishtails. tails. 
And just like that, you made a pretty simple bow. Pretty and simple. <laughs> you could be done right there. But I just remembered that I had some blue denim ribbon. I got it on clearance when AC Moore was closing. So I'm just gonna cut off about 24 inches piece. I'm gonna cut the fishtails and then just make one loop and tie it in the middle of my bow. If you were wondering, the loop is about four or five inches, no more than that. I'm just gonna pinch it and tie it down right there. And now we are really done. <laughs> We're gonna move the pipe cleaner to the back. If you want, you can um, twist tie it back there just to make sure everything's nice and tight. And we're going to attach the bow to the reef. I'm thinking about adding it over there at the bottom of the heart. And actually there's that green tie over there as well so you can attach your pipe cleaner there. Fluff it up and look how cute. Now we are going to add our ribbons and we're gonna use the green ties that are still there. For example, we're leaving a six inch tail over here, tie, tying the ribbon down, making a nice uh, loose loop just like this. And we're gonna tie it to another uh, green tie over there on the outer circle, just like that. And we're gonna leave about six inches and cut it off. Look how cute. That brings a little bit of that red color to the top. And unfortunately, our ribbon is ending here. I didn't realize we don't have much more. So again, I'm doing a six inch tail, making a cute little loop here. I wish I had a little more ribbon, <laughs> but that's all I have. I, I don't have a second row. And I'm gonna tie it over there in the back to the green tie. I'm trying to loosen it up over there a little bit, but not much I can do. Cutting the fishtail, and now I have to actually adjust. I gotta go back to the first one that I made and uh, make it a little bit shorter. It, they don't have to be exact, but just for a more symmetrical look, I'm just gonna trim it a bit. And just like that, a very easy trick to bring some of that red ribbon to the top of your wreath. Next, we're gonna attach the tails. I got nine pieces of 12 inch ribbon here. We're gonna take one set, one on top of the other, fold it in half and make a V shape, just like so. And now we're gonna tie it over there at the top using one of those green ties. And we're gonna do the same thing on both sides of the heart. Okay, looking very cute. And I wanna show you something. Over here at the bottom and towards the outer circle, you still have a green tie there. And there's another one on the opposite side over there. So we're gonna cut two more sets of tails at different colors, doesn't matter, you know, you can alternate your colors and tie it over there. Feel free to also trim those tails if they seem too long. And I cut two more sets of tails and I wanna add them at the top, just right there. Next, we are going to add the florals and look at this, right on time. Coco, Coco, leave those roses alone. Come on, what are you doing? Yes, I am talking to you. Yes, leave it alone. What, you are upset now?
so you can trim the stems and add the roses all around and if you're happy with the placement you can hot glue them next i want to add some silver next we're gonna trim those heart picks and add them all around too I think it looks so pretty. If you want, you could be done right now. But you know, I want to add my little cherry on the top. About right there. So cute. And now I'm just stepping back and taking a look what else I could do. I have some of these blue flowers uh, from 4th of July. And I added them a little bit here and there. When I took a second look at my uh, reef, I realized the tails are not as long. I think I want to extend them a little bit. I have leftover ribbons here now. Uh, why I'm going to keep them, you know, I'm just going to use them here at the bottom. And with the long tails, you can just curl them like that. And that silver ribbon is funny, it doesn't want to curl. <laughs> but Dollar Tree has some uh, glitter silver ribbon. I think it would look cute with that uh, sign. Also, I'm going to use small Dollar Tree roses to fill in any holes that I have in my reef, like over here on the sides. And with that, I complete my reef. Look how substantial it is. You cannot even tell it was made with mostly Dollar Tree items and cheap deco mesh. It looks so big and beautiful. I wonder what do you think? Please comment down below and let me know. Do you like the red and blue combination? I wonder. Something different, right? <laughs> Alright my besties, so this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it comes useful to you, please make sure you give me a like and also subscribe to my channel for many more ideas on the budget, okay? Have a good one and Happy New Year to you. See you next time. Bye bye!